Hey guys, today I wanted to talk to you guys about the spider holster system. Uh, basically, it's a way to hang the, uh, your camera off of a belt system. Uh, what the spider holster comes with is a plate that you attach to the bottom of your camera simply by using a uh, provided quarter inch nut and a hex screw. It securely uh, fastens into place and it doesn't move. Um, you, there's also two holes. Quarter inch, you can detach your um, tripod plates in there or like I have it here, it's a, a hand strap. So it doesn't consume that one tripod mount on the bottom of your camera. Also, it comes with these two pins. Actually, it comes with one pin. I suggest you get two pins because when you're letting your camera sit, if it's got one pin, it's gonna tip over. If it's got a two pins, it gets to stand up. So that's just added whatever, perk, bonus, whatever. But these pins are the essential part of the uh, holster. Uh, let me show you my belt system. Uh, Spider holster actually provides you with a belt, Velcro belt system, but I've actually decided to use the uh, the Think Tank Speed Pro uh, belt system. And Spider Holster sells a plate where you can just, it's like an adapter, and you just put it onto this belt, tighten up four screws, and you're good to go. I like this Think Tank belt better because it's got loops that you can hang stuff off of, and the belt, and you can tighten it, and the, uh, belt clasp mechanism. It served me well. Uh, I like it this way better. My wife likes to use the, the uh, belt system that the spider holster came from, but just know that you have options. Um, the thing that attaches here is the spider holster plate. It's a V-shaped groove, and that's where the ball at the bottom of the camera plate comes into play. So you just Kind of put it in the V shape, kind of guides it down into the uh, holster, and then bang, it just hangs on. Cool thing, too, is like it's got a dual locking mechanism here, so you can lock it into place um, and you can release it. Real awesome design, uh, all metal, like. I never had any problems with it. Uh, we use it all, we've been using this for at least about three years. Uh, so it served us well. And the most important thing why we moved to the belt system is because we just got tired of hanging cameras up our shoulders and our muscles will get tired and like all tight because you're sitting there hanging a camera off your shoulder for eight to 10 days, whatever. You get muscle fatigue for sure. So we transferred that weight from our shoulders to our belt system and it works perfectly. I wanted to show you guys the belt system. Um, here it is, speed think tank belt on my waist with a spider holster. And uh, it just locks into place and hangs just like that. You can see the flash hanging down straight down your leg so it doesn't bump into anything and the lens will be protruding backwards. So pretty safe system. You can see it doesn't move around. There's a locking system here, locking lever. So you can put it down to lock it, lift it up to unlock it. And uh, after you get using this for a while, it's the click that um, kind of confirms that it's in place so it's like, it was let go. So that's it. That's the uh, spider holster system. We love it, we've been using it. Uh, they also have a spider monkey and black widow. Spider monkey for your flash. Uh, quick system attachment for your flash. And the uh, Black Widow is for smaller compact cameras, such as like the uh, Fuji X100S, 
or what have you, but great system, solid build. Highly recommend this one. Thanks for checking out this video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Shuttertastic, and check out our blog on shuttertastic.com. Thanks a lot, guys.